Right, good morning. It's Bank Holiday Monday. I've got places to be and people to see, so I've got to keep it short and sweet today. A little bit like me. Ah, oh, who knew I was a lyricist? I did because I'm a vocalist and a tattoo artist. That's why I'm doing these videos. Not because I feel like I've got something to say all the time, which I do, but there's a big absence that's been created in my life over the last year. And rather than just filling it with endless work, 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 I figured I'd do something that's a bit fun for me, which is checking out new music, getting my day started the right way. Now, I'm excited because on today's episode, my mate's Confessions of a Traitor, um, I'll be showing their new song, All the Devils Are Here. And I've not checked it out yet because I want to react to it in this way. But rather than me waffling on, let's just let their music do the talking for a minute. So this is Confessions of a Traitor, All the Devils Are Here. Let's go. I'm fucking excited, man. These guys always do good shit. If you're not aware of Confessions of a Traitor, go follow and go check them out. Look, like, you should be aware of them by now. Again, bit of a donut if you sleep, it doesn't matter. Yeah, but it doesn't solve us being bored, does it? Yeah, but <laughs> even if we were on tour, he'd still be asleep. Yeah, but that's fun, though. I've, no, I've literally had enough. What can we do now? We need to, we need to do something. I've got it. What? I've got it, I've got it. What? for a fucking treat, right? Honestly, these guys are so self-aware, man. I love them. I love them so much. Campus. It's cool, man. Um, you've got to enjoy Confessions of a Traitor, man. They they always bring some really cool concepts to their videos. Um, they don't take no for an answer, man. They've got a creative outlet that they knew they know they need to scratch. And um, yeah, honestly, man, I'm I'm enjoying this. It's cool. <laughs> Come on, man. How is this not enjoyable? This must have been so much fun to film, just dicking around with your mates all days playing dress up, man. That's a lot of fun. A lot, a lot of fun. I'll tell you why I love these guys, man, because like me, they respect the bootleg hustle. You know what I'm saying? Make it work. Use the tools in front of you to make sure you can make gold out of nothing. You know what I'm saying? Like, look at the energy, enthusiasm, and charisma coming from this video. And look how stripped back it is. Like, it hasn't got to be high budget. You know what I'm saying? It's just, you got to, you got to put the work in and find the workarounds, like green screening and putting all the extra effort in into making the... Um, the gameplay and stuff and that, you know what I mean? Like, bootleg it. Like, you can work really, really, really hard with new information, new knowledge, new skill sets and produce something really authentic and energetic because you've all tried your fucking hardest and you've pushed it together, you know what I'm saying? Like, think outside the box. You haven't got to hire the best videographer in your area and try and make them come up with original concept, man. You can just put four, four or five guys together, guys and girls together, and just keep butting heads until you get a cohesive idea. To work together, you know what I'm saying? And prop each other up and have a laugh. Don't take yourself too seriously. Be like Will Smith. Be a bit fucking corny, innit?
Hey, listen, yeah, like, Stephen's going to kill me for saying this. But is it just me, yeah, that I think Stephen, Stephen the vocalist looks like a Disney prince, yeah, for metal, you know what I'm saying? Look at him, man. He's such a handsome and charismatic guy. Look at you, handsome fucker. He's like the polar opposite of me, man. He's got a bit of height to him. He's got a bit of frame to him. Bit chiseled, long hair and that. He's everything I'm not. And I'll tell you what, I'm a little bit jealous because if he's Gaston, I'm that fucking little frog boy, innit? But listen, man, Steve's such a sick vocalist, such a nice and humble guy. Like, every time I'm in his presence, I feel welcomed, I feel whole. He's a good bloke, sick vocalist, and he, he fucking, he gives it his all every time. And very, very fortunately, over lockdown, um, I, 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 I work with him on a song, innit? So I've got Steve and a few others on the track. Um, it won't be dropping for a while yet because yet again, COVID shit, innit? But... Oh, I'm excited to show you guys what we've been up to, man. Um, honestly, you've been playing ball with so many cool people over the last year. Like, we're all in for a treat over the next year or two, innit? You just got to look in the right places and enjoy the sunshine when it comes out and open your heart to people and open your heart to new music and new ideas, innit? But listen, I'm going to stop waffling and check this out, man, because I've got one off tangent there, innit? <laughs> Come on, man. What's not to enjoy about this? Come on, man. Steve's range is fucking awesome. The desperation and textures in his voice about pushing too hard, man. Like, honestly, unless you've been in the same room with this guy recording vocals or seen him perform, man, you don't get how, how laid back and confident he is with his shit, man. Like, he puts a lot of time and effort into his lyrics and what he's doing. He's a very, what's the right word? He's a very thoughtful person. Um, very, very... Very articulate, a bit a bit unlike what I'm like right now, isn't it? Like I'm trying to give the guy props, but unless you've been in the guy's presence and spoken to him and like listens to how listen to how gentle and that he is, you won't get what I'm saying. But like it's the duality of being a metal vocalist, isn't it? Because some of the nicest people in this fucking world end up being metal vocalists because they have that creative outlet to put that in, their inner saboteur, give that inner saboteur a voice to fucking project out and lose. You know what I'm saying? Like it's weird having this little part of yourself, this little demon part that you present to the world and uh, whack on stage, you know what I'm saying? Like it, it does keep you grounded in some capacity and Steve's well grounded, man. Like he's a, he's a good asset to the metalcore community and locally, like and I'm really looking forward to getting out and playing some gigs and shit. When the world opens up, innit? Guys, man, you are resourceful motherfuckers, and I enjoyed that, man. I ain't going to waffle anymore because this has been a one-take video, and I know that if I try waffle an outro, I'm going to fuck it up. But listen, if you go to my website, stevekurtattoos.co.uk, you can grab yourself some new bits. I've got some new caps and some new tip polos. The song you just heard was by Confessions of a Traitor. It's called All the Devils Are Here. It's a sick fucking song. It's going to go on my playlist, Bootleg Reactions playlist on Spotify. 
Now, I'm going to bugger off, but I'll be back Wednesday and Friday with some more, some more new music. Ah, oh, Niddy went so well. Look, listen, go enjoy the rest of your days, guys. Days, guys, listen, the, more, the longer I do this, the more fucked up it's going to go. I'm tripping over my words already. Go have a nice day. Go enjoy the sunshine if there's any. Go spend some time with your friends and family. Stay blessed. Stay humbled. And don't shut your mouth off like me, in it. Stay real, rude boy. All the best. Bye-bye.